Now that we have a basic understanding of what a ratio is, let's see if we can tackle some more advanced problems. So I have a classroom. It's got 55 students in it, 55 students. And I also know that the ratio of boys to girls, the ratio of, I'll write it this way, boys to girls is 4 to 7. What I want to know is, how many girls do I need to add? So how many girls need to add, or do I need to add, do I need to add for the ratio, for the ratio to become, to become 1 to 2, 1 to 2. And this is the ratio of boys to girls. I'm not switching the ratio on you. So right now for every four boys, I have seven girls. I want to add some girls so that the ratio becomes for every boy, I have two girls. So how can we do this? Well, just going back to the basic ratio video, the first thing we can do, we know the total number of students. And we know the ratio. So maybe it'll help us to figure out the number of boys and girls we have right now. So our current ratio is 4 to 7. So boys boys to girls right now is equal to 4 to 7. That means, what does that mean? That means for every, if you add up these two, if for every, for every 11 students, for every 11 students, there are what? There are four boys and seven girls. There are four boys, four boys, and seven girls, and seven girls. That's what this ratio tells us. You give me 11 students of this, uh, well, for every, you could, you could split this classroom into a bunch of groups, and for every group of 11, you're going to have four boys and seven girls. That's all that tells me. For every 11 students, four boys and seven girls. If you split them, I guess every group has the same number of boys and girls. Now, how many groups of 11 students there are? So there are 55 students. We have 55 students total. And we're breaking them into groups of 11. And we're, uh, every group will have the same number of boys and of girls. So we have 11 groups. 11, sorry, we have, we divide by 11 students per group. Students per group. So how many groups of 11 students do we have? That means we have five groups of 11 students. Five groups of 11 students. And we've done this drill before. Every group has four boys, and it has seven girls. So we have five groups. Five groups, each of them has four boys. That means we have 5 times 4, which is equal to 20 boys. And we have 5 times 7. We have five groups. 5 times 7, each group has seven girls of girls. So that's equal to 35 girls. And the numbers add up. 20 plus 35 is 55. And 20 to 35, 20 to 35 is equal to 4 to 7. So it all works out. So we, that's what we have right now. Now we're going to add girls to the classroom to change the ratio. So let's do this. So right now we have, we have 20 boys. We have 20 boys. And we have 35 girls. We just figured, we just figured that out. And I'm going to add some girls to the classroom. So I'm going to add some girls to the classroom. And my new ratio after I add these G girls to the classroom, my new ratio is going to be 1 to 2. 1 to 2. So I just, you know, I have an equation. I have one unknown. I can just solve for it. You can almost do this one in your head. 20 is to what? Uh, uh, 1 is to 2 as 20 is to what? You could say, oh, 20 is, you know, 1 is half of 2, 20 is half of 40. So you could say, oh, this must be 40. So g would be equal to 5. That's how you would solve it in your head. If you want to do it algebraically, you could cross multiply. So you get 35 plus g times 1. So you get 35 plus g is equal to 2 times 20 is equal to 40, which is essentially what we did in our head. We said, hey, this thing has to be equal to 40. So if you subtract 35 from both sides, you get g is equal to 5. So if you add 5 girls to your classroom, you're going to have 40 girls. So then you would have 40 girls. 
and you have 20 boys. And your ratio is 20 to 40, which is 2 to 4, which is the same thing as 1 to 2. And we've done our problem.